Welcome to the Friendly Podcast Guide, sorting through podcasts so you don't have to. I'm Andy Smiley, and I want to help you discover the right podcast without having to listen to an entire episode. Now, let's talk podcasts. One of the things that can always quiet my kids down and help them sit still is a kid podcast. We've listened to a bunch, and truly we're lucky to have so many good options, but one of my personal favorites is Circle Round. The production quality is so good, and the music that they use helps you get lost in the story. Before we listen to a clip from a Circle Round episode, here are some details about the show. The show description is, Created and produced by parents of young children, WBUR's Circle Round adapts carefully selected folk tales from around the world in sound and music-rich radio plays for kids ages 4 to 10. Each 10 to 20 minute episode explores important issues like kindness, persistence, and generosity. The length of each episode is about 20 minutes long and it is absolutely kid ear friendly. It is literally meant for children. The series is ongoing with new episodes available on Tuesdays. Before we learn more about the vibe of the show, we are going to take a quick break to talk about the friendly podcast guide on TikTok. Friends, I have joined TikTok and it has actually been super fun. Please join me over there for podcast recommendations, commentary on being a mom, and silly videos that at least my kids think are funny. Just search the Friendly Podcast Guide on TikTok and follow me for all things podcast and mom life. Now we get to hear a clip from a Circle Round episode called The Wind Catcher. Think about a time you did something nice for someone. Maybe you shared a kind word or you held the door open for a stranger. We're about to meet some characters who think that helping others will be a burden and weigh them down. But little do they know, lending a hand could actually give them wings. I'm Rebecca Shear, and welcome to Circle Round, where story time happens all the time. Today our story is called The Wind Catcher. Versions of this folktale come from the Marshall Islands, a country made up of thousands of islands in the Pacific Ocean. Some really great people came together to bring you our adaptation of this tale, including Tony Award winner Leah Salonga, star of numerous Broadway musicals, including Flower Drum Song, Les Miserables, Miss Saigon, and Once on This Island. Leah is also the voice behind two Disney princesses, Jasmine in Aladdin and Mulan in Mulan. So circle around, everyone, for The Wind Catcher. Long, long ago, a mother lived with her ten sons on a balmy tropical island in a glittering blue sea. The island was surrounded by many other islands, each of them covered with white sand beaches, leafy trees, and palm-like shrubs known as pondanus. All ten of mother's sons were strong and strapping and smart. So, when it came time for their island to name a new chief, the people decided that one of the sons would assume the role. But with ten intelligent, able-bodied fellows to choose from, how would they pick which one? The islanders pondered and puzzled, until Mother had an idea. I know, friends. We will hold a boat race. My ten sons will speed their boats away from our island across the water until they reach the next island over. Whoever arrives at the neighboring island first will become our new leader. Back in those early times, the only boats the islanders had were canoes, Narrow, pointy-ended vessels that you skim through the water with a paddle. So over the next weeks, Mother's ten sons crafted special canoes for the race. The brothers spent long hours sweating on the beach as they scraped out tree trunks, then polished and oiled the wood till it gleamed. The morning of the race, the brothers were buzzing with excitement as they lined up their brand new canoes along the shore. Listen, guys. You better watch out because I can paddle as fast as a gull flies. Ha! That's nothing. I can paddle as fast as a dolphin swims. Well, I can paddle as fast as a ray stings. And I can paddle as fast as an eel strikes. The oldest brother, a burly fellow named Timur, 
crossed his brawny arms. And I can paddle as fast as all of you show-offs combined. Honestly, I don't know why you're even bothering to race against me, brothers. Especially you, Jabaro. All eyes turned to Jabaro, the youngest and most mild-mannered of the ten. The kind, calm fellow had been quiet all this time. Jabaro was about to open his mouth when all of a sudden, who should appear on the beach? Good morning, my sons. But, Mother, this is going to be quite a race, isn't it? It's going to be an amazing... Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want to hear about more podcasts from me, please follow or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. Also, follow me over on TikTok for more FPG goodness. Talk to you soon.